Obadiah's name in the Hebrew. Obadiahu. Obadiahu means Obad and H 5647 means to work for another. And when you work for another, what are you? You're a servant. So Obad means to serve. So Obadiahu means you are a servant of Yah or a servant of Yahuwah. Elijah's name in the Hebrew. Eliyahu. El means God, like we just said. When you add that I to the end, to make it Eli, it means my God. Or El means God or strength or power or mighty one. But just for our, you know, we'll, we'll say God. So when you read it in the Hebrew, it says, my God is Yahuwah. Jeremiah's name in the Hebrew, Yermiyahu. Rum, it comes from the Hebrew rum, which means to rise. We already, we already said that when you add the yo to the beginning, it means he. So Yermiyahu, it literally means he who Yahuwah has appointed, or he who Yahuwah has exalted or risen. They all these prophets' names, and there and there are there are more. I only pulled out a few, few of the ones that we're familiar with. Zechariah has it at the end. Uh, you know, there 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 are many more. They have they have the, the Most High's name right in their name. Not to mention, like Jehoshaphat. You know, what I'm saying that Jehoshaphat. That's the Most High's name right there in his name. Is represented in all of these prophets' names. Now. But to close out, like, like, like we began to say that, that the Jewish Masoretes inserted the, the YHWH into the scriptures. Well, at the bottom of the page, that's a picture from the Isaiah scroll. That's, that's from the Isaiah scroll that is years older than the Masoretic text, a thousand years older than when the Masoretes got their hands on it. You can find that Isaiah scroll online. If you just Google Isaiah scroll, you can find the Isaiah scroll. Excuse me. But it's a thousand years, it was, it was written a thousand years, found at the Dead Sea, written a thousand years before the Masoretes even got their hands on the, on the text. And if you look, you'll see the yo hey why hey right there in the text way before the Masoretes got their hands on it. So if they inserted it, when did they insert it? There's no proof of when did they inserted it. That's just something that somebody is telling you, and because, you don't, and because people haven't done their study, they're, they're blindly following it. So that's, that's uh, the conclusion of what I have to bring out. Um, we can go ahead and get to the questions. Yeah, that, when you when you read in John eight eight and fifty eight when he says before Abraham was I am, it's not it's not the word Ahia in the Hebrew. That you can look in the lexicon in the um in the lexicon and you can see that that was not the word Ahia or Ahe in the Hebrew. That was actually the word Ani, which means I am in Hebrew. Uh, Brother Travis says, okay, I, my thing is this. I agree with everything, but the point I was making is that Ahia or Eke is first person and perfect. I will be. Correct. And Yahuwah is third person. Correct. The, and, and, that just makes, and that just makes more sense. Yeah, I, I, um, I, had, you, I had one for you, Mel, on... Uh, on the Shabbat. But what makes more sense to address Brother Travis' question? If we're going around calling the Most High I Am, now let's just say we want to say the Most High is great. In the Hebrew, you're going to say, I am great? Or would you say, He is great? <laughs> what makes more sense? Wouldn't it make more sense to say, He is? He is great. He is magnificent. Rather than saying, I am great. I am magnificent, or any of that. 
this is to Sister Heidi's question, is because that most 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 people, I, I would I would venture to say that probably 85 to 90 percent of Israelites don't know Hebrew, like don't have a clue about Hebrew. And I I mean that might be that might be a great deal, but most most people most most um. Uh, most most Israelites, um, they don't know Hebrew, so so they don't understand that Jehovah is just a is just a transliteration of the name Yahuwah, and they don't understand, you know, they don't understand the rules to the Hebrew grammar. They're not even familiar with the Hebrew characters. I mean, I know I know a ton of Israelites, thousands worldwide, and I haven't I haven't really came across many that uh that know know the Hebrew language. I don't really know it that I don't really know it that well. I can read it, but you know, I'm not great at it. I'm no I'm nowhere near, you know, nowhere near as uh as proficient as brothers as like uh brother uh Nuriyahu has been studying for uh for uh, 16 years. But once you begin to study Hebrew, in, in, even in, in his modern form, you'll you'll be able to dispel a whole bunch of those misnomers that that um, Yahuwah or the YHWH is Satan, and that's I mean that's another lesson for another day. But Satan isn't even the name of anyone. Satan isn't a name. Uh, so like I said, it's just anytime you see you see Satan in in the, in the scriptures, it's written as Ha Shaitan. Ha in Hebrew means the. Whose name starts with the? It's not a name at all. So that that's that's just that's like I said that's another lesson for another day. We can go deeper with that, but we do that another day. But it, it it's not Satan whatsoever. That's like I said. Most people out here teaching, you know, they 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 they're learning a uh, um a dialect of Hebrew that's incorrect, and uh and it's just you know like I said it's just a misunderstanding because they don't know. What's the precedent for the Yahuwah pronunciation as it relates to the YHWH consonants? Why does the Y or the W become a vowel in the context of the Father's name? I, honestly, honestly, uh, I don't know the rule as to why it turns into a vowel in his name. But I, I know that there's a rule that when that Y follows certain uh certain characters is uh it turns into a a a a, a, a ooh sound like it does in the name Judah or Yehuda Yehu it, according to my understanding like you're going to see different different people explain it differently Um, you'll see different people explain it differently. Like, um, I mean, I'm sorry, not explain it differently, but pronounce it differently. You'll see people pronounce it as Yehoah. You'll see people pronounce it as Yahuwah. You'll see people pronounce it as Yah. Power, but in all of those in all of those different pronunciations, they're very similar. And it's just um, some people believe that the vowel pointing is accurate. Some people believe that the vowel pointing is is inaccurate. Um, so that's where you get the, the different the different uh, pronunciations of his name. Um, but however, it was what's um, what's uh, 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 what what all of those different pronunciations have in common is that that, that is that they come from the understanding that the 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 Most High's name is represented by the YHWH or the Yo Hey Wa Hey. Uh, so in, uh, according to my understanding, I, I I believe that Yahuwah is the correct pronunciation.